So hello guys welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video we are going to cover get record element in Salesforce flows. So in this video I'm going to explain each and everything about get record element. So without any delay let's get started. So uh, first of all you can see uh, currently I'm in a screen flow right now and here in the left hand side you can see data accordion and if you drag and drop get records on your canvas you will see this kind of interface now as it is very clear from the name get records that means uh, we are fetching records from the object from our salesforce org okay so in the first uh, you can see label and that means you need to provide label to your get record element so let's provide accounts when you click on the second or description you can see api name will be auto populated now the thing is uh, it is a best practice to provide description to your elements in your salesforce flow so that if anyhow uh, someone else is working on your flow so he can understand like okay what is the functioning of this flow very easily so the thing is in the description we can provide fetch accounts with annual revenue greater than hundred thousand dollar now you, here you can see get record of this object that means you need to provide the object from which you are going to fetch the records so currently i need account record so let's click on it type account and click on account so when you select account automatically this section will appear over your screen which says filter account records here you can see in the description i write a uh, fetch account with annual revenue greater than thousand dollar that means uh, on account i am having a field annual revenue whose value should be greater than thousand dollar or as you can see uh, we have condition requirements on our get record element which have four values none and or and custom logic is met now the thing is let's say you have two conditions where both are mandatory you can take an example let's say you want to fetch those account who is having uh, revenue greater than thousand dollar and status or whatever the second value industry equals to education so this is also the use case so that means when all the conditions are required so you can use and and similarly if you want to use or so that means any of the condition if become true then this get record element will include that record in the flow so like it might be the case uh, you want to fetch those accounts who is having industry equals to education or revenue greater than thousand dollar now the third one is custom condition logic uh, let's learn this with an example let's say we want to fetch those account whose annual revenue is greater than thousand dollar and industry either lies in agriculture or education that means you are going to select those account whose uh, pick list value which is uh, industry either uh, education or agriculture and revenue greater than thousand dollar so in that case you are going to use custom condition logic now let's move further and i will let you know how we can do that now in the first one we are going to take an example where our annual revenue is greater than thousand dollar so as you can see our first condition is ready now let's add one more condition which is industry equals education so now both conditions are mandatory so you need to select and here which is by default selected now let's move to the second condition which is or that means now these conditions are not mandatory either one of them needs to be true either revenue is greater than thousand dollar or either annual revenue is greater than thousand dollar or industry equals education 
Now let's come to the third one which is custom logic. Now right now you can see 1 or 2 but according to our third uh, condition we want to fetch those account who is having annual revenue greater than thousand dollar and industry lies in either education or you can say agriculture. So here you, what you need to do is add one more condition industry equals agriculture. So right now you can see you have three conditions and in the left hand side you can see these three conditions having numbers which is one, two, three. So now you can create your own custom logic according to the scenario. Now our scenario is industry lies either in education or in agriculture. So that means the count second and third are joined with a OR operator. That means you need to provide brackets and let's say two OR three. Now we want annual revenue should be greater than thousand dollar. That means it is in AND condition with these two conditions. So now what you need to do is AND 1. So that's how you can create your custom logic. So what this will do, fetch those account who is having annual revenues greater than $1000 and industry either lies in education or in agriculture. Now let's move further. Now you can see sort account records. The word sort means you are going to change the order of your records ascending, descending. So if you select ascending, uh, it will uh, start from the minimum count. Let's say I am going to sort by annual revenue in ascending order. So that means the account who is having minimum annual revenue will appear first. And if you select descending, that means uh, let's say I have 10 accounts and the highest account will appear first. So let's say I'm going to select descending over here. Now here you can see sort by option. Here you can select fields, let's say annual revenue. So what this will do, this will fetch accounts who is having annual revenue greater than $1000. Industry either lies in education or agriculture and then sort those records on the basis of annual revenue in descending order. That means the account who is having maximum annual revenue will appear on the first position. Now here you can see only the first record and all record option which came under how many record to store. Now let's say you have a scenario where you want the account who is having maximum revenue and industry lies in education or agriculture. So you only need to fetch only the first record. So you will get the maximum annual revenue account by this logic. Now the next section is we are going to fetch all records. So that means we have account with uh, maximum revenue to lower revenue and we are going to fetch all of, all of them. Now here you can see how to store record data and you will get three options over there automatically store all fields choose field and let salesforce do the rest and third one is choose field and assign variable which is advanced uh, here you can see automatically store all fields that means your flow will automatically store all the fields of that object and do the rest things on your own now the thing is uh, if you select the second option you can choose which specific fields you need it might be country and let's say one more uh, we are going to add let's say annual revenue let's say you want to add billing city so that's how you can use uh, specific fields if you want to let's come to the third option which is choose fields and assign variables which is the advanced one so now what you can do is basically it will store all the records in a particular record collection variable. Just for now understand record collection variable is a bucket or you can say a list which store accounts right now in this use case or whatever the object you are going to use. So uh, to create a record collection variable what you need to do is click on the 
search bar and click on new resource select resource type as variable select api name let's say all accounts provide description okay api name is already populated let's zero a description store filtered account let's select data type will be record and if if this variable is going to store multiple records then you need to select this checkbox and if you are only going to use uh, one account or you are only going to fetch one account from your uh, salesforce object then you need you deselect this option so right now we have more than one record so we are going to select this and select our object which is account obviously so let's say you are working on a case object then you need to create case record variable so you need to select case over there so right now we are using account so we need to select account over there select account and click done so now you can see all the records we are which are coming after filtering will store in this variable which is all account all accounts and in the in the just below section you can select which field should be added in this uh, all account uh, record collection variable so let's say you are also select this active so that's how you can select a field so right now my record collection variable which is of account type contains id country annual revenue billing city and active and here you can see when no records are returned set specified variables to null for so what does it mean let's say you fetch accounts and it might be the possibility that there is no account who is having annual revenue greater than thousand dollar and industry lies in education or agriculture so let's say if there is no record in your salesforce org so you need to select this by selecting this you can uh, providing your record collection variable as null so that uh, our record collection variable does not contain anything click done and your get record element is completed i hope the concepts are clear to you let me know in the comment box if you have more doubts regarding this uh, i will try to explain you in the comment box and thank you so much in the next video we are going to cover variables in salesforce flows so thank you so much if you're watching this video till now and stay tuned